Season 11 only had a few strong queens. Ms. Vanjie's comeback from Season 10 added to the season's enjoyment, and queens like Evie Ali and Silky Nutmeg Ganache provided plenty of dramatic moments as well as fascinating runways. Overall, it was a mediocre season with the ending feeling like an afterthought. This season had its moment, but many of the judges' choices were strange, and none of the queens looked to be obvious breakthrough talents destined to become fan favorites. People of all genders, start your engines, because today we will look at the worst and the best seasons of RuPaul's Drag Race. Welcome back to Drag Queen Realness! Our videos will have you coming back for more entertainment, but first, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel so you never miss out on our videos. Let's get started with today's video. Season 10 this season was overall quite powerful. These queens have been tough opponents this season. Furthermore, there have been other classic events from this season that resemble Ms. Vanjie's departure. With queens like Monet, Exchange, Monique Hart, and Eureka, this season is easy to remember. While some were disappointed that the winner wasn't someone more unique, there's no disputing that Aquaria was a fantastic queen throughout the show who was incredibly skilled. Until this season, we had largely only seen so Social media famous queens like Miss Fame perform live who had never done so before. This season's drag included Aquaria and Cameron Michaels, who were both famous online and bad on stage. Season 7 this was a season that is still remembered as one of the worst. Many people were disappointed when Viola Chachki won the crown. People were also quite unhappy in the final three. It's a shame that the entire season was a shambles, because numerous beloved queens, including Trixie Mattel and Katya, made their debut performance on this season. Unfortunately, none of those two made it to the final three, but happily, these RuPaul's Drag Race queens were able to move on to bigger and greater things. This season's Snatch Game ranks quite high in comparison to the others. However, this season underperformed due to a weird combination of characters. There were beautiful look queens with dumb talking heads and humor queens who were still in the early phases of evolution. Season 13 RuPaul's Drag Race Season 13 is noted for its length. With 16 episodes, it is one of the longest season. It also felt long when no queens were eliminated from the contestants until the fourth show. Viewers felt they were in for a slog, and they were correct. The queens in Season 13 were by and large not interesting enough to help the season's endless length. Gottmik, who was a brave new heir, being a notable exception and ultimate winner was uninteresting. Season 8 Season 8 wasn't hazardous, and it was an improvement over Season 7, but it was among the finest in the franchise. Overall, it was unremarkable and quickly forgotten. Bob the Drag Queen is a fantastic winner, and she's unquestionably a consistent comedy queen, but her victory felt predetermined since her experience was so vast in comparison to the rest of the contestants. Overall, many of the season's queens were not as remarkable as these from previous seasons, so although little from this season just jumps out as particularly dangerous, it is also not very noteworthy. Season 1 Season 1 is difficult to blame for being the worst season because it was the first and started everything. Clearly, the show did not have a huge budget back then, and it did not appear to be destined for the popularity it has now. Its poor manufacturing good quality and the infamous fuzzy filter make it considerably lesser high quality than the rest of the seasons, but it will always have a special place in fans' hearts because it started the entire drag race phenomenon. Season 2 Season 2 was noticeably more polished than Season 1. The series began to figure out what it was and set things in motion to become more more successful, however, it is still early in the present's historical past, so issues are still a little rough around the edges. However, there have been some memorable moments and queens from this season, like Raven and Tatiana's lip sync powers. This season also marked the debut of fan favorite Shangela. Even though she left after the first episode, she would return for more incoming seasons, leaving her stamp on Drag Race history. 
Season 9. Season 9 had full of wonderful and bad queens. Fans will never forget the moment Valentina didn't remove her masks during the lip sync. This season has included several dramatic moments. It was a successful second for Sasha Velour, who won with her fantastic lip sync at the conclusion. While a four-way lip sync isn't the simplest way to determine the victor, Sasha's performance was so good that it's difficult to be upset with the way the finals was constructed. The top four Sasha Velour, Shea Coley, Peppermint, and Trinity the Tuck were among the best ever. Furthermore, the last six episodes are a complete kill. This season isn't ranked higher since it took so long to get going. It was mainly a snooze till Valentina couldn't say anything. Season 3 While season 2 was when the show began to figure out how to be successful, season 3 was when the show really came together. The show has finally figured out how to make its tasks more interesting. Furthermore, this was the first season in which Michelle Visage became a regular determined resulting in a stronger judging panel. This season, Raja won, but it also introduced us to other great queens such as Manila Luzon, who finished second. Season 4 Season 4 was a tremendous dynamic season and it's a good place to start for anyone who has never seen the show before. This season marked the beginning of RuPaul's Drag Race's commercial success. There were also a number of tough candidates with interesting characteristics. Sharon Needles won this season and she's difficult to miss. This season's other queens included Latrice Royale, Cameron Michaels, and Willam. Overall, this season featured some of the fans' favorite queens. Sharon Needles and Fifi O'Hara altered everything. Every season features a tough hero, but the show suffers in the absence of an antagonist. These queens understood just how to make fantastic television. Latrice Royale was endearing, Willem's removal was unexpected, and Dita Ritz delivered one of the finest lip sync performances ever. Season 12 Season 12 had the odds stacked against it from the start, as participant Sherry Pie was disqualified before the show aired for her behavior outside of the show. Sherry Pie was current but edited round because the season had already ended. That discomfort might have ruined the entire season, but it didn't, and the credit goes to the other strong queens like Heidi and Closet, Gigi Good, Jada Essence, Hall, and Crystal Method. Even the finale, which was shot over Zoom because of COVID-19 limits, might have failed, but the skill cast made it into a one-of-a-kind and thoroughly satisfying conclusion to an odd season, season 5th. Season 5 was the ultimate race. It was so unclear who would win the crown. Having approximately six competitors who seemed to have a shot at the top prize was a thrill. Jinx, Alaska, Roxy, Detox, Alyssa, and Coco all had such unique styles of drag and such a deep drive to win. This season felt like anyone's game, and every single episode was exciting. Season 5 is another season that had an amazing cast of queens. The lineup from this season is easily one of the best, maybe even the best. Season 6 Season 6 was an Adore Delano Charisma platter, Bianca Del Rio's Talking Heads, Ben De La Creme's Snatch Game, and Courtney Axe Runways. This season really had it all. No regular season of Drag Race has even come close. Season 6 was one of the strongest seasons. It's generally agreed as one of the best. This season was super funny, and this was largely thanks to Bianca Del Rio, who easily deserved her crown. Besides everyone's favorite comedy queen, fan favorite Adore Delano, and the talented Courtney act also made it to the top three. There were many dramatic moments in season six of RuPaul's Drag Race, some amazing challenges, and a cast that contained real star personalities. This is a season fans love to watch over and over again. That's all we've got for you today. What is your favorite and least favorite Drag Race season? Let us know in the comments below. If you appreciated and found today's video fascinating, please give us a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and click on the bell to be up to date with the most exciting things as soon as it's released. Thank you for your time. See you next time.